So move ahead with the uh, next problem, number 4 in the permeability of soil chapter. And the problem statement goes at, as follows. We have given with the uh, two soil specimens which are identically uh, geometrical dimensions. That means the area and length will re remain same of, of, of these two specimens. And these were subjected to the following head permeability test in the laboratory. Under the identical conditions, okay fine, the fall of the water heads was measured after an identical time interval. So the time uh, at which the flow uh, is taking place and the time interval is also remains same for all these uh, two soil specimens. Okay fine. And the ratio of initial to final water levels for this test which is involving the first specimen was 1.25. So initial to final water head ratio that means H1 to H2 for the first soil specimen is given it as 1.25. And if the coefficient of permeability of the second specimen is 5 times that of the first one then they are asked to calculate the ratio of initial to final head water heads in the test involving the second specimen. So what is given? Uh, this is the problem related to uh, following head permeability test. So this is related to following head permeability test. And as far as this uh, following head permeability test is concerned, uh, we know k equals to small a l divided by a into t into log to the base e h1 by h2. So that's how uh, you will calculate the coefficient of permeability of the soil uh, by following head test. So the ratio of uh, initial to final water levels for the test involving first specimen. So we have given with the identical two uh, specimens. So we have given first specimen and we have given with this second specimen. The meaning of the word identical geometrical dimensions which means that the area is same length is same for these two samples that's what you do you mean by the identical geometric dimensions and uh, also the given it as the fall of water head was measured after an identical time interval so that means uh, while you conduct a test for the first specimen, you will measure the drop in the head after suppose uh, two hours. Then for the second sample as well, you will measure the drop in the head after two hours. So the T is also uh, remaining the same. So this from the identical geometric dimension, we, we mean by area same, length same. And from the identical time interval concept, you can conclude the time interval between which the readings are taken for the head levels these are remaining the same for this one and two specimen so therefore uh, here by looking towards this equation if it is uh, tested by a same permeability equipment a also will remain constant and uh, therefore since a is remaining constant l constant a constant t constant k will become directly proportional to the ln or log to the base e h1 by h2 okay so for first sample uh, i'll proceed with k1 it becomes equal to c constant to remove proportionality sign log to the base e h1 by h2 for the uh, first specimen so first specimen k1 fine similarly for k2 it becomes constant again log to the base e h1 divided by h2 for the second specimen so this is for the second specimen so if i take the ratio of first and two you will get the k divided by k for first k1 divided by k2 will become equals to uh, log to the because c and c both ways will get cancelled log to the base e h1 divided by h2 and to the same way uh, log to the base e h1 to the h2 remember since it is directly proportional k1 and this also became 1 for first specimen 
and for second it becomes also second specimen but yeah for in order to solve this question in the given question what is given the h1 2 by h2 for the first specimen is given it as 1.25 that's what do you mean by this particular statement uh, the ratio of initial to final water levels for the test involving first specimen was given it as 1.25. So, this particular figure H1 divided by H2 for the first specimen, this figure is given it as 1.25. And also from the question, it is given that the coefficient of permeability for the second specimen is 5 times that of the first one. So, for the second specimen K2, K2 becomes equal to 5 times that of first one. Coefficient of permeability of the second specimen is 5 times that of first one. So you mean by K2 becomes equal to 5 times K1. So therefore K1 by K2 will be equals to 0 0.1 by 5 which is nothing but 0 0.2. K1 by K2 log to the base E 1.25 divided by log to the base E h1 divided by h2 for the second sample and if you solve this particular problem then uh, hopefully you will get the log to the base e h1 divided by h2 for the second specimen equals to uh, log to the base e 1.25 divided by 0.2 and you will get the answer so uh, log to the base E 1.25 divided by um, 0.2 you'll get 1.55 I'll get this value as 1.116 you'll get this particular value and uh, for that you need to take e raised to this particular value for therefore h1 by h2 for the second sample become e raised to uh, 1.116 uh, here in, in if you have particularly the scientific calculator once you get to know about this particular value you need to press shift and e button and you will write it over e and then you need to place a bracket and this particular number 1.116 so, uh, or, or either ways, you, uh, you can have an italic E and uh, raise to button and 1.116. So, anyways, you can do it. Uh, so, if you have done it, and then it becomes E raise to this particular expression. And from this, you will get H1 by H2 for the second specimen equals to 3.05. 3.05 so you'll get this particular answer and uh, if you see the options yeah the first one option is right the 3.05 uh, so therefore uh, this finishes your the fourth another complicated problem in the permeability of soil chapter and the answer to the fourth problem is 3.05 and it is uh, relatively easy but provided you know what is the formula for following it permeability test and so on and what which things will remain constant which will be varying and the relationship between the k with the drop in the head value because it is logarithmically related so this finishes the fourth problem in the permeability of soil chapter we'll move ahead with the next problems in a couple of time thank you